Hello, good afternoon, friends. I'm so happy to be here with you today. I actually got a request for a book and I could not be happier. It's one of my all-time favorite books. I loved reading it when I was a little girl and I have loved reading it to all of the children that I've looked after and I like reading it to my own little kids now. So without further ado, this one goes out to Stuart. He's the one who asked for this book and I'm so happy. It is Madeline. I love it so much. All right, we are going to get started with this book. Get this comfy. Oh my goodness, here we go. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve! Twelve little girls. In two straight lines, they broke their bread when eating at the table, then brushed their teeth. Can you all pretend to brush your teeth with me? Ready? Are our teeth nice and shiny now? Let's see. Let's see those smiles. Oh, I love it. Your teeth are so white. They're so sparkly. You did a great job brushing. And went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. There's the guy. There's the bad guy. Can you guys show me your smiles? Oh, those are such beautiful smiles. Now, can you show me your frowns? What face would you make to the bad guy here? Oh, those are great faces. Wow! Oh, I would be scared if I was a bad guy. <gasps> and sometimes they were very sad. Oh, can you show me your sad faces? Okay, okay, you guys need to stop. You're gonna make me cry. Those are such sad faces. You guys are really, really good at this. Okay, oh, I need a moment. Oh, your sad faces. Very convincing. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines in rain or shine. I really love the picture of a sunny day. The smallest one was Madeline, and she is. She was not afraid of mice, neither she the mouse. Mm -hmm. She loved winter, snow, and ice. Do you see her skating there? What are some of your favorite things to do in the winter? Yes, tobogganing. 
I love to go tobogganing too, if you're right, it is so much fun. Oh yeah, also building a snowman. Wow, that is a lot of fun. Yes, I like to build snowmen too. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo poo. She wasn't scared at all. Look at all the other girls. See, they're hiding. Madeline's not. She's very brave. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, something is not right. There she is. She turned on her light. She had a feeling. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. Oh no, there's poor little Madeline. Is she gonna look home? And soon after Dr. Cone came, he rushed out to the phone. There he is. Oh no, something's wrong. And he dialed Danton 106. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. <gasps> oh no. Her appendix, that is a part inside your body that can get really sick sometimes. Yeah, if that happens, then you need to go to the hospital. I think that's what's going to happen to poor little Madeline here. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket, safe and warm. See, the doctor's taking good care of her. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. They're driving in an ambulance. Do you guys know what an ambulance is? That's right. They help people when they're hurt or sick. They help to take them to the hospital so they can get better. Reagan, what does an ambulance sound like? <gasps> yes, it does. It sounds like sirens. Can you guys make those siren noises for me? Beep. <gasps> Oh, you guys are so good at that. Wow. Oh, you would make such good helpers for Madeline. Oh, she would definitely get the help that she needed very quickly with you guys around. Hey, Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Those are very beautiful flowers, don't you think? Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank. See the little crank there? There it is. That helps her bed to go up and down so she can sit up or lie down. And a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Can you guys see the crack on the ceiling? Yeah, it does look like a rabbit, doesn't it? <laughs> I know, it's pretty funny, isn't it? <laughs> Outside were birds, trees, and sky, and so ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? So they go in a bus and they're getting flowers for her. Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door. Tiptoeing with solemn face. Solemn face means a sad face. 
can you guys make your sad faces? Oh no. Okay, stop, 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 stop. You're going to make me cry. Oh, you guys are so good at the sad faces. I can't take it. Okay, tiptoeing with solemn face. Don't do them this time. I can't look. With some flowers and a vase. In they walked. And then cried. Oh! When they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on his stomach was a scar. Oh, there she is showing them the scar on her stomach. Yeah. Goodbye, they said. We'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and wove their hair and brushed their teeth and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right. Oh no, what do you think's wrong? And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast. Faster! Wow, look at her go. She is so speedy. And she said, Please, children, do tell me what is troubling you. Oh, look at all those little girls. And all the little girls cried, Boo hoo! We want to have our appendix out too. They all want to have their appendix out too, just like Madeline. <gasps> oh, good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned on her light and she closed the door. And that's all there is. Did you love that story? Oh, me too. Oh, I'm so glad that you did. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? <laughs> yes, them all going to see Madeline in the hospital and seeing the dollhouse and the candy. Oh, yeah all the toys. I think that that might be why those other little girls wanted to have their appendix out too. They saw all of the things that Madeline got and they felt a little bit jealous. What do you think? Yeah, you think that that might be right? I think so too. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, you do not want to go in and have an operation if you don't need it. It's a great thing if you need it, if you need to go and get fixed up by a doctor. That is a great thing. Doctors are wonderful at helping us. But you definitely don't want to go there if you don't have to. Mm -hmm. I definitely don't. All right, and what? else was your favorite part? Oh, yes. I really liked that too. Oh, when all of the little girls at the very beginning are skating around and going to the zoo. Yeah, it's so nice to see all the things that they get to do from day to day with all of their friends. Yeah. Now, are you guys like Madeline? 
are you brave and you're not scared of the tigers in the zoo? No, you're not? Oh, I get a little bit scared when they start making big loud roaring noises sometimes. <laughs> All right, well, I am going to go for the day, but I'll be back tomorrow. And if you guys want to, you can let me know any book that you would like to read, just like Stuart did, and I will read it if I have it in my house. And if not, I am making lists to order books, so whenever they end up getting here, then I can read them for you. But this one, because I loved it, I had it in my house, so you got it. I'm very lucky. All right. So yeah, let me know if you have any requests. I will do my best to get them read for you. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I loved it as always. I hope you did too. Mwah. Thank you so much. Bye bye. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me. Bye.